Okay, so hello guys and welcome to a new video and in this video I'll be quickly explaining as to how you can change the permissions of the system files in the, inside the system folders. So I decided to make this video because a lot of people were confused as to how to change the permissions of the build.prop file when they placed it inside the, uh, you know, the system folder of the Zenfone 5 and many of them got boot loops due to incorrect permission settings. So for changing the permissions, you need two things. The first would be access to your system folders, which will require you to root your device. Now, if you're using the Zenfone 5 that I'm using over here, you can just follow the link in the description uh, to root the device. Or if you are using some other device, you can just Google root your phone model and hit enter and you'll get plenty of ways to root your device. So if you're using the Zenfone 5, the next step that you need to do is you, get, you need to get a file explorer that can handle the root permissions. So you have two choices where you have the ES file explorer and also you have the root explorer. The root explorer is around $3 in price, whereas the ES file explorer is free. So if you want to you know, get a better experience, I would exp you know, recommend root explorer because it's easier to understand and use. But if you want the free version, you can just head over and use the ES file explorer. Now I'll go through both the file explorers and show you how to do that. So first you need to open the file manager. So I'll just open that up. Now if you haven't used the ES file explorer at all, so you need to first you need to go and mount the system file fold or the partition as read and write. So it is now only read only. So you need to go to read and write. Now I have already given root explorer root permissions, but if you haven't given it, when you press that button, it will ask you for root permissions and you need to grant it. So when you have granted root permissions, okay, so I'll just head down and go into the system folder. Yeah, just to give you an example. Okay, so we'll just go into the system folder and we'll scroll down and then we have the builder profile. Now, Look, if you look closer, you can see the permission settings is R, W, R, and R. Okay, so to change the permissions to, you know, so if you paste a new file in this new directory, okay, inside the system folder, it will require the permissions of R, W, hyphen, R, slash, and hyphen, R. So you need to head over to permissions, okay. So the current file system is based on read only, so I need to remount it as read write. So as you can see, so this gives us, gives me R, W, R, R, as you can see, R, W, read and write and the group and others are R and R so there you have all the box other boxes unchecked so you have R R R W R R so that's usually the format you need to select okay so as you can see there it says R W X R X R X so if you go into the permissions of this folder as you can see R W X R X R X so that's the way you need to select your file permissions. So it's not always the same. Like if I head over into the system folder and go into the app directory, it's again rwr slash hyphen r. So again, if you go into the permissions, it's rwrr. So that's the way you select permissions. Okay. And so if you place a new APK file inside this app folder, you need to change the permissions to RWRR before you reboot or else it won't show any change. Now, if you change the build.prop file, which is a very essential file for Android to operate, and if you do not provide appropriate permissions, it will not find the build.prop file and thus you'll get a boot loop. So that covers the root explorer and how you can change file permissions in root explorer. So for ES file explorer, you need to go through a few steps, extra steps. Okay, so you need to swipe from the left, scroll down and select root explorer over there. Now that will ask you for super user request. Okay, so you grant it. Okay, so now that's granted. Now we need to head over into our system folder. Okay, so we will go to slash device as this will take us into our root folder. Okay, so we can again go into system. Okay, and let's file the build.prop file. There's build.prop file over there. So as you can see, there shows so many operations. Okay, you can delete, you can share, you can copy, and you can move. Okay, so when you have that selected, go to this options menu, and you should see permissions over here. So you go to properties, and there you have permissions and change. 
So you again hit on change and then you do the same thing again. So you read write. So RW, RW. So it's basically the same. So that's the, uh, the way to get into the permission changing operations is a bit different over here. Okay, so I'll repeat that. You select the file, you hit the options menu, you go to properties and you select change. And then you set the appropriate permissions according to the permissions in that directory. So to see what permission it is in that directory, you can just hit that and go to properties and okay, so, uh, okay I selected multiple files go to that and then properties and then it will show you the default permissions for that folder so that's how you change the file manager or sorry the permissions for the files inside your root or system directory so make sure you do that when you paste or you know replace any file in the system or the file directory change it to its default permissions or otherwise it might give you boot loops if it's necessary for android to read that file while it's booting so thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.